everybody, and welcome back to Snack Testers, the show where we test snacks. I'm Simeon Jimmy. And it is I, the one and only Eglo Jimenez. And today we have one of my worst ideas, perhaps of all time. Uh, I was perusing Dollar Tree one day and was disgusted to find that they have $1 frozen seafood products. So Eggy and I spent today going from grocery store to grocery store trying to find the cheapest, most horrific looking frozen seafood we could for this uh, dollar store frozen seafood tier list. Eggy, of all the things we have here, which one are you the most excited about? Well, you know, uh, the lovely store Aldi had mussels in tomato garlic sauce uh, for just like $2.99 or something like that. And I think it uh, on the package, are they still in the shell? Are they going to be in the shell when we I microwave <laughs> every single one of these items that are not all microwavable? Yeah, that's, I forgot to mention, we are going to cook all of this frozen seafood in the microwave exclusively. So let's take a look at what we have on the pile from cheapest to most expensive. Here we have the seafood snackers. I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Eggy found it. This is like the uh, hot dog version of seafood. Yeah, it really looks like it. Hey, you know what? Uh, <laughs> it's got egg whites and fish and sugar. So, I mean, hey, that sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. At Dollar Tree, they had these $1 shrimp egg rolls. Would you eat a $1 shrimp egg roll from Dollar Tree? <laughs> I'm truly terrified. If we don't get it, some sort of parasite infection today it will be a miracle. Also from Dollar Tree for $1 is this popcorn shrimp, which does not have any microwave instructions on the back. You're not supposed to cook it in the microwave, but that would defeat but the purpose of the video if we didn't. We are young, healthy, strong, and so well, disease. Well, for, for now we are. <laughs> After this, I don't know <laughs> if we'll be that healthy anymore, but. I think food poisoning's really all a big racket, you know? Well, speaking of food poisoning, we have uh, Walmart brand Great Value Fish Sticks. $3 for a box of 44. What is that, like eight cents a stick? That's a very good price per stick, if I do say so myself. It also says do not microwave, so I'm looking forward to us doing that. How bad uh, could it be, really? Here's the one you were excited about, so I'll let you no. introduce it. In fact, so it does say on the box, whole shell mussels in a tomato garlic sauce. And it's a sweet tomato garlic sauce. I, is that good? I mean, I, when I have my seafood, I just like butter. And that was only what? three bucks at all. No be. artificial ingredients. Everything's like one word and pronounceable. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients. That's with the seasoning. What? For like two ninety nine. And the worst part is, it says we have to microwave it for six fucking minutes. <laughs> uh, I really don't know about that. My house is gonna smell so horrendous. I think my cats might enjoy it, but I'm going to be disgusted. Enjoy specially selected mussels on their own or with fresh crusty bread. <laughs> they have is pretty there... low expectations for your bread, I guess. Is there fresh bread without a crust? I'd be the first person that have ever, ever heard of that. And finally, the piece de resistance. I don't know if that's talking about the French. palate cleanser. Yes, sir. That's right. Aggie found something that was too good to pass up. Lobster mac and cheese. You know, it, yes, would that run please. you seven dollars? Six ninety nine. I, I don't know if you guys got taxed on here on uh, on you know food that I don't people think should we be do. eating. So this is gonna be like the big splurger item right here. But I, if this is good, you know what? We'll need something good. So well, the thing <laughs> is that costs as much as the rest of the food combined, pretty much. So it yeah. better be of that level of quality. If if the lobster mac and cheese for seven bucks is no better than the fucking popcorn shrimp, then there's a racket that we need to expose. And that's why we're testing this here today for you, the people. We're going to bring you the scoop. Is this going to be nasty goop? <laughs> oh, yes. I think it will be. Uh, so we're going to go nuke all of this shit, and we'll be right back. Are you an adult man watching a YouTube video about two other adult men microwaving fish? Then chances are you need to work on your hygiene. That's why this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped sent me their all-in-one performance package 4.0, featuring the Lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer. This bad boy is a wireless electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin-safe technology, so you can shave your most sensitive areas without fear. 
This kit also includes the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant for all day body odor protection and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray for a quick and easy refresh. But Manscaped cares about more than just your balls. They'll also send you the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. Plus, for a limited time, they'll throw in the Shed Travel Bag and a pair of anti-chafing boxer briefs. All this could be yours for 20% off plus free international shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use promo code SIMEON at checkout. Oh, fuck. Ah, this is a horrible idea. I'm disgusted just looking at it. My stomach and head both hurt already. Uh, but I guess we have to start off with the only cold item we have, the seafood snackers. The, as Eggy put it, the hot dogs of seafood. <laughs> That's right. Now, this tier list, I imagine we're going S tier all the way down to F. Is that fair? I think it's a good idea. What, what fish did you say was in here? Egg whites and uh, uh, you know, other things that aren't fish? These are basically, I think it's the same stuff they make. Uh, it was the same stuff that's in the uh, fish sticks, I think. Alaskan Pollock also contains less than 2% of king crab, contains crab and lobster and fish extract. <laughs> <laughs> so really you're getting the whole, the whole ocean in one and you get four for a dollar? Let's see, is it worth it? And this is basically like the fish medley you would get at a Chinese restaurant, like a buffet. That's kind of cheap and shitty, but if this is warmed up, I'd actually like it more, I think. Yeah, you know what? Uh, C tier? I mean, it's uh, it delivers. I would say even B tier, because it's not upsetting, and uh, I would not mind eating it, to be honest. It kind of is like a... It's got like a string cheese texture kind of almost going on. <laughs> yeah, but it, it just tastes like uh, imitation crab is how I would put it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, very, very uh, about as plain as it will probably get today. Everything else is going to be either better or worse. <laughs> so a good starting point. Let's uh, try something that should probably not be edible and that's the microwaved popcorn one dollar shrimp that's right the finest popcorn shrimp that Dollar Tree has to offer <laughs> uh, uh, so go just, for it bud oh uh, right. man I mean, it's, it smells I, I'm gonna guess it's just gonna be soggy fried and not offensive let's find out it's just soggy breading so far <laughs> probably the smallest shrimp they could possibly find and then 80% breading. Yeah. For that reason, it is inoffensive because there's pr pretty much nothing. Uh... Well, I'm personally offended because we got six of the shittiest popcorn shrimp pieces ever for a dollar. If somebody bought this like as a meal or even as a snack, I would be pissed. I can already feel my stomach turning, so that's a good sign. Um, but you know what? It does not taste horrible. It's just too much soggy breading. I would say like low C tier to high D tier. What do you think? And I'll let well, you decide. Just flavor wise, the fact that it's breaded and fried and greasy, uh, there's a little bit more flavor, I think, in that regard. Just from that, even though that has nothing to do with the shrimp. Do you like it better than the seafood snacker? That's the question. We might have to move this down if you like that better. <laughs> I probably would rather eat it, yeah, even though it's soggy and not good. It's got a little more going on for me than the seafood snackers, so I think that's me. I think I would give it just a maybe a 0.5 higher. So should we also put it in C tier then? I think so. Yeah, okay, that, slightly that, higher. I would say even B tier. Well, <clears throat> here's another bad idea. It's the one dollar <laughs> shrimp egg roll, also available at Dollar Tree. Ooh. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of the included sauce packet yeah, with yeah, mine. Yeah, of course I'm on my plate too. Yeah, we probably don't even need. More than just uh, enough taste, right? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> now, this thing is like soggy and falling apart right out of the microwave. <laughs> so I don't know if I should use a fork or, yeah, you know what? I'll just go for it. That's right. Let's get, I'll get one bite sauce, but I'll do my first bite sauce free. Mmm. That's what's up. I'm not really getting the fishy flavor, it's just a standard microwave egg roll. <laughs> They probably skimped out on the fish, or the shrimp. Let me take a little sauce in that thing. This is some sweet and sour. 
I'm starting to think that Chinese buffets just buy all their food at Dollar Tree because it tastes <laughs> identical. For only a buck, I mean, if you like egg rolls, that's a pretty good deal. I'm putting this like in B tier. Oh yeah, absolutely better than the other two things so far. No doubt about that. I'm not gonna buy it again, but I'm not angry that I tried it. And the sauce also isn't bad. And I've gotten like delivery Chinese food egg rolls that were worse than this. Absolutely, so uh, yeah. Dollar Tree knocked that one out of the park. <laughs> so yeah. I was now we're... <laughs> I doubted you and you've proven me wrong time and time again. Uh, now we're entering the higher uh, leagues, the high quality leagues, so they gotta be better than that, right? Like you can't get beat by a one dollar Dollar Tree egg roll. Well, speaking of things that were not supposed to be microwave, <laughs> we've got the three dollar box of uh, fish sticks. How long did you nuke this for? Uh, two minutes. Uh, well, I'll let you try it first. And just in case it is instantaneously a, a death blow, I'll let you try it. All right, let's see what it do. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean... The texture would be better in the oven. It's so mushy and <laughs> gross. But that well, was our fault. Yeah, we, we, we intentionally did what we weren't supposed to. <laughs> But other than that, very standard fish stick flair. It's I think it's falling short of the egg rolls for sure. Yeah, big time. <laughs> I'd probably put this down there with the the other C tier options. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm maybe a little. You know, I grew up eating fish sticks a lot. So, I, but I still want to say personally a little bit above the shrimp. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's where I'd find it at. The fact that we've done the four cheapest so far, and I have not put anything like in the disgusting column, <laughs> is shocking to me. Everything so far has literally been edible, and I I thought this was going to be so disgusting that it would have F tier, D tier, just nonstop. Yeah. Well, this is something a little different. Here we have the uh, mussels in shell from Aldi. The in, in a savory sweet tomato garlic sauce. Now we get to eat the rusty cage way. Pull that bad boy open. Oh. Oh, oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> no! That was my mistake. Oh, whatever. Let's just fucking eat it. It's too hard to film. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, uh, I'm not really sure what I feel about this because it's kind of like a finger sized shell but I'm opening it up. Uh, you can see some of the uh, oiliness in here uh, the, of the sauce. Well, let's uh, give it a shot. Microwaved what, mussels, what are these? Microwaved mussels in shell with savory tomato garlic sauce. Mm. Kind of flavorless to me. I'm not really getting a lot out of it. Mine had a little bit of a sea taste to it, if you will. Uh, which is kind of what I expect, or I've gotten some things like this in a restaurant before and it had a little bit of a flavor imparted by the location that it's in, so there's certain ones. That one had more juice in it, so I could taste it a yeah. little bit better. I, I don't know my muscles that well uh, in many respects, actually, <laughs> but I know that I've had ones served at restaurants from different locations, like different bodies of water, and they'll have like a different flavor uh, comparably. And this one, it just said mussels, and then it had like the Latin name for mussels in there, so I don't know. This might be blasphemy, but at Rusty's 4th of July party, he grilled oysters. He spent like hundreds of dollars on fancy oysters and grilled them up. Uh, is it safe to say this $3 bag in the microwave tastes about as good, if not better? <laughs> I'm enjoying this about as much as Rusty's uh, oysters. I gotta say, for a $3 microwave bag, of uh, food, yeah, this is uh, surprisingly tasty. <laughs> this is like restaurant quality, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, I'm thinking like B to A. I actually really like this. We might finish the whole bag <laughs> by I, the end of the night. I think we certainly could. Yeah, they're. Uh, I mean, damn, mm -hmm. this might be my favorite so far. Yeah, I have 15 to 18 for like three bucks. Yeah. So what tier are we going to decide on? I'll put it up. Um, yeah, I'll give it whatever the highest rating is so far. I think A tier. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I, I think, yeah, for the price and everything, and the fact that the sauce washes out of carpet very easily from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I want to keep eating it and the other ones I do not want to look at ever again. Yes. Uh, this one is winning. But will the $7 mac and cheese lobster fiasco Ooh. win the day? 
Ta-da! Oh. Are we gonna get a good cheese pull out of this? Wait, did I have a fork? Yeah, it's right here in okay. your cup holder. Well, I hope it's still warm enough. I'm gonna grab a big old glob of mac lobster and the whole thing. Oh yeah, it's got some steam coming up off it. Let's Real see if lobster. it's worth seven dollars. It's about it's on about on uh, par with something you would get at Red Lobster. And Red Lobster is not famous for having the highest quality food, at least not in the Midwest, for sure. But that being said, Red Lobster quality for seven bucks is a pretty <laughs> good deal. We got a, I got a big piece of uh, lobster right here. Ooh, <laughs> if it'll focus. But, and it, it's uh, slightly enjoyable eating it now, but I feel like if I tried to eat the whole tray, I would vomit and get very <laughs> sick. But in small doses, this is not terrible. I don't like it as much as the mussels, though. Maybe like a high B, low A tier. Mm -hmm. I would say, that's right. Now, it wasn't the most tender lobster I've had, which I think is to be expected from a microwave frozen meal, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I feel like there might be little pieces of uh, lobster shell in it, like <laughs> micro pieces. It's a little crunchy at times. That might be what lobster extract means. Yeah, yeah, that could be. That could be the uh, the uh, acceptable by the FDA term. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this was supposed to be a horrible tragedy, but I think I found some new things I want to go buy at the store more often, to be honest. That's right. But seven bucks for this, though. That does seem a little bit pricey, unless you're going to divide it up into two or three meals. I'm not going to lie, like... These muscles are definitely hitting, like, because mm -hmm. this is something that fancy people eat. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, listen, I'm just saying, if you put, the, if you made this, you can microwave this, plate it up, and serve it to people, and they're gonna think like, oh wow, you know, they're gonna think you spent twenty dollars. Yeah, on that. you could say you door dashed it from Red Lobster, and everybody would believe you. Yeah. Well, who is the biggest loser of the day? If the muscles win, <clears throat> who does not deserve to exist? <clears throat> You know, I'm gonna come back and run it back around again. Actually, I think that the popcorn shrimp was really just the most offensive. It was very mushy and not very much shrimp in there. I think that at least the seafood snackers is an honest product. <laughs> yeah, and it's only a buck too. <clears throat> yeah. If you like imitation crab, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. The popcorn shrimp, you know what? It's uh, it's hitting the shit list. <laughs> Speaking of which, my toilet's gonna be hitting this shit list tonight. <laughs> this shit is not gonna process well in our stomachs, but I think that's another successful snack testers tier list. Surprisingly good all around the board. Nothing I would say is a complete failure. Nothing was so offensive I needed to get up and vomit. <laughs> well, it's pretty much, uh, I would agree. You know, I, I thought for sure that something was gonna, you know, especially with the scents that were coming out of that microwave, <laughs> <coughs> we thought maybe it kind of smelled like a, uh, like the bottom of a Berlin nightclub at 3 a.m. Maybe <laughs> <coughs> some things were were a little bit uh, questionable, and uh, yeah, surprisingly everything was good. So, you know, that should just show you in life. Sometimes you should do things that you really feel are the wrong thing to do That's just true. to find out for sure. That's right.